all right so welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad summer 44 so today guys we do my copa libertadores round of 16 early thoughts and like a group stage draw review so let's go ahead and look at this guy so let's start with group a guys so we have racing uh, racing actually topped the group and flamingo came in second place which is interesting because i actually i believe i expect a flamingo to top the group and they actually came in second place which is very interesting um so basically the top two is kind of reversed basically and Nubalens to the Copa Sudamerica, which is basically the Europa League. And Okuya's finishing bottom, of course. I think Group A went as about as expected. Maybe Okuya's to get third. Um, but yeah. Group B, Internacional. They topped the group by just one point. Nacional came in second place. Independiente Medellin came in third. Metropolitano's zero points. I believe I predicted this. Uh, i not too surprised. I think this went about as expected. Group C, Palmeiras top the group 15 points. They didn't have a little scare at the end where they needed to win their final game because I believe if they didn't win their final game, they would actually came through in second place, which they did win against Bolivia, Bolivia 4 0. And Bolivia, man, shout out to them, man. They were not expected to make it this far. The fact they got to round 16 is quite phenomenal of achievement. I got to give a shout out to them. Barcelona, I mean, just like the real Barcelona, <laughs> we also went to the Europa League, so. Oh, man, it is what it is. Finish oh, four points and even tied on points with Cetra, Cetra Portrano. And I guess they had a better head-to-head. -head. That's why they finished in third or maybe a better goal difference. Right, let me just see right here what it says. Um, okay, so goal difference. Yeah, goal di their goal difference was better. So, yeah, man, I mean, I mean, shout-out to Bolivia, man. Amazing achievement for them to finish second in this group. And, yeah, man, shout-out to them, man. Shout-out to them. Um um group d man palmeras i'm um, sorry fluminense top the group on um gold difference i believe river plate and came in second place sporting cristal came in third and the strongest came last it's kind of sad for the strongest man they got some big wins at home but it wasn't quite enough their waveform just let them down and that's kind of like my thing with bolivian teams is that their away form is pretty dreadful their home form is good but their away form is dreadful then we have Group E, and oh my god, this is incredible. Guys, of all groups, I think this is probably the most shocking of the bunch. Independiente de Vell have actually topped this group. And guys, I believe Chelsea signed Kennedy Perez. Kennedy from um, Independiente del Valle. What a team, man. What a team. Um, there were some big players there. I think um, Moises Caicedo came from there. Inciso, I think, came from there. Um, you know, so Brighton got some big players coming from Independent, man. I think Estepanyan came in there as well. There's probably some other players I can think of the top of my head. You guys can let me know in the comments. But shout out to them, man. I think this team could be a dark horse, guys. I think this team could be a dark horse in the round of 16. I hope they make it for them, man. I'm going to be rooting for this team. Argentinos Juniors, they got in second place. Shout out to them. And Corinthians, man. This is very disappointing for them. I did not expect them to get third. I did not expect them to get grouped. So that's a bit embarrassing. And yeah, man. Um, And yeah, Liverpool, man. They were just there for the vibes. <laughs> group F. Okay, Group F. This went as... This kind of went unexpectedly. I, I, did, I did expect Boca to top the group, Boca Juniors. And Colo Colo, man, they did not advance. They actually came in third. Which is kind of sad because I have a Chilean friend, of course. You guys know Sebastian. Unfortunately, his club didn't make it through. Um, so yeah, Deportiva Pereira, man, a shout out to them, man, they came in second place, they were not expected to get second, and yeah, let's hope Colo Colo can win the, uh, Sud America, man, maybe we'll do, it. maybe, you know what, has the Sud America finished, well, maybe we'll cut those groups in a bit after this, uh, Group G, the two Brazilian clubs, Atletico Paranes and Mineiro have advanced as expected, and the Group H, Libertad and Alianz Lima got third and fourth respectively, and the Group H went about well actually group h actually was pretty surprising i did not expect olympia to top the group in such stunning fashion they went unbeaten as well actually what other clubs went unbeaten let's go check are they the only club that went unbeaten well actually international also went unbeaten so guys yeah them and two and international went unbeaten so that's pretty impressive atletico national came in second patronato third and the melgar last so i mean looking at the um these um pots right here guys i mean i'm gonna give you guys my early predictions in some ways i think palmeras will do very well i think they're gonna make it very far they're probably one of the favorites to win this again they always they've dominated this competition for the last few editions now 
Olympia, uh, I don't know. I mean, they can maybe get to the quarters, I would say. Racing, I think they'll, they could get to the quarters. I will say Olympia. I will say, I, I've, I have a feeling Olympia might get a strong team, guys. Um, racing, Boca Juniors, let's see. I, I think Boca Juniors can get on a good run, even though they haven't really been that great in their league. Atletico Parnese, man, shout out to them, man. Victor Roque is from that club, you know. Let's see how he does here um, at this one. Maybe they can, maybe can, you know, guide them to, like, a, um, the Copa Libertadores trophy, which would be awesome. And to be into Del Valle, I just talked about them. Dark Horses, Internacional could do wood. I don't think Fluminense will do great. Bolivia, I don't think they'll do it, unfortunately. Flamengo could go far. Nacional, eh, not sure about them. Um, Argentina Juniors, I don't think so. Atletico Monero, no. River Plate, possibly. I think River Plate, possibly. My Monero could as well. Atletico Nacional and Deportivo Pereira, I don't think so. So, like I said, man, it should be a very interesting round of 16. And, guys... There is one matchup I really want to see. I want to see Boca Juniors with a Flamengo, guys. You heard this right here, for, guys, first. I need that matchup to occur. Please, please get that matchup. I need to watch these matchups. Okay, now let's go look at the Copa Suda America. I don't even know if the group stage has been complete. Let's just go ahead and see. And has it been complete? Yes, it has been. So let's go ahead and look into this. So basically, they have. I didn't even look into this in my original draw reaction video, but we're just gonna look react to this anyway. Wow, Quito actually topped the group. Botafogo actually screwed up. They came in second place, which was surprising. I did not expect that. Group B, Guarani and Emelec. Okay, interesting there. Did not expect that. Um, group C, Red Bull, Barangate, Estudiantes. Probably expected. And dang, look at the goal difference, man. 14 and 14. Uh, plus 18, plus 13. Sao Paulo, Tigre, okay, probably is expected group B, new old boys, Odex Italiano, Santos got grouped, which is kind of sad, Defiance and yeah, Just DC is good, Amir Monero, uh, then obviously we've got Lise, Universitano, and the Fortaleza versus San Lorenzo, Lorenzo, so, as you guys can see right here, the knockaround round playoffs have already been decided, they already did the draw so soon, which is really weird. So, let's just look at these matchups real quick. I'm not going to get predictions. It's way too early. Actually, is it? It's not that early, actually, now that I'm ready. Well, anyways, I'll just tell you what I... I'll just tell you what my thoughts are and who the favorites are. Barcelona versus Estudiantes. Barcelona should be winning that, in my opinion. Nubiles versus Audox Italiano. I would say Nubiles. They dropped down from the Champions League. Sud America. Oh, sorry, Copa Libertadores. Patronato, Botafogo. I would actually say Botafogo. I think because the fact the second leg's at home, I think they can do it. Um, Colo Colo vs. America Monero. That's a really tough matchup for Colo Colo. I'm going to have to have, unfortunately, back America Monero on this one, though. Libertad vs. Tigre. I'm going to go with Libertad to win. Corinthians vs. Universitano. Ooh, that's an interesting one. I'm going to go with um, Universitano. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Corinthians. Although, you know what? There could be an upset on this one. Okay, I'll stick with Corinthians. Sporting Cristal vs. Emelec. Emelec, I'm going to go with Sporting Cristal. Independiente Medellin vs. San Lorenzo. I'm going to go with Independiente Medellin. So... It should be very fascinating to see how these matchups occur, man. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, man, of the Copa Libertadores round of 16, Dream Draw, all that good stuff. You know, kind of like going over this entire thing, man. So it was pretty interesting to look at this and that. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And who do you think is going to win this, guys? Who do you think is going to win this? Let me give you guys my prediction for the winner of the Sudamericana. I'm going to say the winner of this, guys. I'm going to say, something tells me, I feel like, hmm, I don't know, something tells me one of these Champions League teams will win it. I have a feeling like Corinthians might be able to win this, or Independiente Medellin. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, man. It, it should be interesting, man, it should be interesting, it's very difficult to call for this, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll say Corinthians. Why not? I'll say them. All right. So, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. I want you guys to become a member of the channel as well, guys.